Welcome back sa ating FB page na free reviewer is managed by Luna Lin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Luna Lin. Now, dito na tayo sa word problems. Okay, mga four item ito. Tapos, after sa video ito, dito naman tayo sa iba pang numerical ability. Let's do number one. Lisa bought a shirt originally sold at 500 pesos for only 400 pesos. Now, yung original, original, yung original price niya ay 500 pesos. Tapos, yung bagong presyo niya ay 400. What was the percent of decrease? Kunin lang yung difference. Ang difference dito ay 100. Now, yung 100, ang pang-divide nito, laging yung original price. So, i-divide natin sa 500. 100 divided by 500, and this is 0.2. Percent man ang hinahanap. So, i-move natin yung decimal twice to the right side. 1, 2, at yung space lagyan ng 0. Tapos yung percent sign. So, therefore, what was the percent of decrease? Ang sagot dito ay 20%. Next, number 2. What was the rate of inflation or increase for the year 2013 if the sugar that was initially sold at 30 pesos per kilo rose to 45 pesos at the end of the year? Yung original, okay, yung original ay 30. Yan yung original. Tapos, yung new price ay 45. Kunin natin yung difference dito. Paano kukunin? From bigger, i-minus natin sa smaller number. So, this is 15. Now, yung 15 na yan, ang pang-divide ay laging yung original number, which is yung 30. 15 divided by 30, and this is 0.5 percent ang hinahanap. So, 0.5, yung decimal, i-move natin twice to the right side at lagyan ng percent sign. Yung space, lagyan natin ng zero. So, therefore, this is 50 percent. Next, number three. After a markdown, the book with an original price, original na naman. So, yung original price sa libro ay 900. Yung bagong presyo was being sold at 765. Kukunin natin yung difference dito at ito ay 135. Si 135, again, original na 900. 135 divided by 900. Ilan ba yan? So, this is 900. Dagdagan mo ng isang decimal. Ganon din sa taas. I-align natin yan. So, mayroon tayong 0, 1,350. Ilang 900 yan? Isa lang. So, this is 950. And this is 4. Dapat tayo na isang 0. 4,500. Ilang 900 yan? Lima. So, therefore, this is 0.15. I-move natin yung decimal twice. To the right side at lagyan ng percent sign. So, therefore, ang sagot sa number 3 ay 15%. Next, number 4. The car value a year after it was bought was uh, 500,000. It was originally bought at 500, 550,000. What was the rate of depreciation? Therefore, yung original price ay 550,000. Tapos, new price ay 500,000. Kukunin ulit natin yung difference dito. Ang difference ay 50,000. Now again, itong 50,000, ang pang-divide nito ay yung original price which is Yung 550,000. Ngayon, para hindi tayo mahirapan mag-divide nito, ang apat na zero, para lang to sa mga whole number, ha? 
Merong apat na zero sa taas, meron ding apat sa baba. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay 5 over 55. So, 5 divided by 55, ito ay never ending na 0 0.09, point zero nine never ending na yan siya. Next, kung i-convert natin ito, yung decimal, again, i-move natin twice to the right side. So, therefore, this is 9.09 percent. Thank you for watching and all I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.